I've been using the Zero Mouse Mod Kit by Optimum for about 3 weeks now. I had originally wanted to do this video after using this mouse for one week exclusively, but after switching back to my other mouse, oh boy, did I realize how much I miss this fingertip mouse. But can we talk about this box design for a second? Isn't this mouse upside down compared to the other mice on the market? Let's just talk about my experience with this mouse after three weeks. Is this the closest thing to pure input? I just got fucking deleted out of the sky. <laughs> Yo, you just get roused. Oh, that stun shit is hella annoying. What is that? Okay, David, smoothing. Oh, Lee, uh, who is it? The weight and look is definitely the first thing you'll notice about this mouse. It looks like a stripped down car for drag racing, and it might not be to everyone's taste, but I think it's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the translucent Game Boys you'd have as a kid where you can see the PCB through the translucent shell. Although this shell is just open, there is no translucent layer. It is just open PCB with just contact points as it is a fingertip mouse. And it's definitely light. With my non-scientific scale here, it weighs at about 29 grams, but it is also quite front heavy. This is especially noticeable on control pads, but after shifting the battery to the lower half, it does feel more balanced, even though the battery is off-centered. The build quality of the frame is good, it definitely flexes if you force it, but it's not something you'll be death gripping as it is a fingertip mouse. The reverse triggers were definitely one of my unexpected favorites about this mouse. It's crisp, quick, and probably the lightest clicks I've ever felt. One thing to note is that in the tutorial to put this mouse together, there was no mention about using some extra screws within the Viper shell to adjust the clicks and also tighten the PCB down near the front as the USB port when charging will be lifted unless you put those screws in. The clicks have no noticeable side play and zero pre-travel and maybe some post-travel if you really click it as the shell can flex. One thing that I did notice with this trigger design is that the closer you are to the center of the mouse with the clicks, the lighter and easier it is to click. While when you move towards the top of the mouse, at some point you might not even be able to trigger the clicks as the shell is in the way. The high scroll wheel was one of the only things I really had to get adjusted to. Because of how high it is, you kind of have to readjust your hand to use the scroll wheel and then readjust back to actually go back to the clicks. This isn't really an issue for games like Valorant or the finals, but it may be an issue for games like Apex where you might want to be using the scroll wheel a lot more. That isn't to say that you have to hover over the scroll wheel, it's just that naturally you will want to. Over time, I realized that I can just scroll the mouse wheel through the side of it like so. This isn't really Optimum's fault as this PCB is from the Viper V2 Pro. And I assume that if he were ever to create his own PCB, he would lower the scroll wheel height to accommodate for the lower click height. 
I've never actually tried dot skates before, but after trying it on this mouse, I may have to use the spare ones that came with it to try on my other mice. As the smoothness and scratch freeness it gives, I really didn't expect to make such a big difference, especially on glass pads. The included Pulsar Super Grip grip tape is basically mandatory for this mouse. Putting the tape on definitely gave me a lot more control over the mouse and was a huge upgrade overall. The Zero mouse is so light that it feels very intuitive to use. It's almost like an extension to my hand. The speed at which the mouse accelerates and decelerates along with redirections with how light this mouse is really makes it feel quite instant. And going back to my other mice, I do feel there is a slight disconnect between my mind and the mouse moving. This is super noticeable compared to other mice as when I'm tracking an object, I feel like I'm pushing an object with other mice. But when I'm using this mice, it just kind of feels like I'm moving my hand and I'm not really worried about whether I have to apply more force to keep the motion going or apply force in the other direction to redirect the movement. So going back to the original question, is this mouse the closest thing to pure inputs? I would say, yeah, this is the closest mouse I own to pure input, and it was tons of fun to use, unlike anything I've tried before. This is the most fun I've had with a mouse in a very long time. And this has only gotten me more excited about future mice and how it can push new boundaries.